Hey, it's Calvin, and this is Ocarina of Time, the replay, the return to Hyrule, Hyrule FM, whatever we want to call it. And if you don't know what this is, this is my replay of Ocarina of Time, the first ever Zelda game I finished in my life. And I want to say, first of all, I recorded two videos in a row the other day, and that's why I wasn't able to really respond to your comments. But I do want to say on the first video, you guys are freaking awesome, and it was really sweet, all the comments, and everyone's just being really cool. And I'll end it there. Uh, thank you. Um, we're going to be re uh, continuing on with this playthrough. Now, if you don't know the premise, I'm going to be basically trying to understand this game better and maybe try to get a better appreciation for the game that I think that I, I, I was a little bit too harsh to. I'm not, I wouldn't say harsh because I wasn't mean to it, but I think like some of the stuff I could have been a little bit nicer. And maybe there's some stuff I didn't understand at the, the time. Let's read this. It appears that uh, the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you've explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreen, and Z and R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot, showing you which way you should go next. Did you get all that? I, I pressed no the first time I played this and I remember like hating this owl forever then. <laughs> Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot 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 hoo. Really cool character design, I don't think I noticed, um... Funnily enough, I was actually playing this uh, Ocarina of Time uh, originally on a... On a... Uh, the same size TV, it was a 32 inch screen TV, right? Um, but the problem was my old TV did, didn't do this really cool thing that my new TV does. Um, the old TV would like... Auto... Uh, would, 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 the old TV wouldn't like would would make it like all pixelated and look really horrible and like, and what is this? Is that the boss from the water dungeon? Is that actually the boss from the water dungeon? Maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's already dark out, which is weird. Which means that uh, is it coming after us? Oh, it's co it's coming. Or wait, is it? I I never got what that was. I saw it for the first time when I played this originally. But yeah, and now I'm playing on my new TV that actually, um, when it, it auto, like, I don't know what it does, but it makes it look really good. Like, it looks brand new on this TV. Like, apart from the 4x3, it looks really good, but I didn't want to, like... Is that the owl up there again? Is the owl just there? See right there? That's really cool. Okay, I guess we have to wait out the night. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I don't mind being in the dark. If I'm- if I remember correctly- oh, we can collect some rupees while we're at it, actually. If I remember correctly, um, the darkness, uh, it, it doesn't- it, like, the daylight doesn't pass once you're, once you're inside, like, the confines of Hyrule Castle, like, the, the walls of the courtyard, or when you're in the town, um, if you're in the village up there. But, uh, time does pass out here. Okay. I'm gonna be a speedrunner. What, what, what do speedrunners do? Or like, a seasoned veter vet veterans of the game, it's like this, and then they do this. Right? But they do it like much quicker. I see them doing that, and they're like doing all this stuff, it's really weird. Like, fair play to you, you learned a way to play the game that is like really um, alien to me, but... Fair play to you. But it's weird, because like, I remember originally playing this game, and... Like, for the first while, I was like, man, I cannot get the hang of this game. I'm really not, like, enjoying myself all that much with this game. And I had to stop for a bit, like, stop for a couple of days. And I came back to it, I was like, okay, now I'm kind of enjoying it. But now, like, I, I I came home from college, and, like, all of a sudden, I was craving to play this game. Which is like, I don't know, it's kind of, I, 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 th I think it's strange anyway. I think it's, it's funny how things change. Uh, over there is Lon Lon Ranch, isn't it? Oh, there's Lon Lon Ranch. We're gonna have to go there very soon anyway. We're gonna have to go there to get a Pona. But I think you can, like, finish this game without a Pona, can't you? Maybe you can. Maybe you can't, actually. I don't know. I, well, no. To get across the desert, you have to do the jump. But do you even... Oh, my God. This is weird. This is weird being here. But I don't think... I don't know if you even have to do the jump, do you? Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm just gonna take all this money if that's okay. I'm not, uh, not a thief. I'm just a thief. Okay.
Okay, here we go. So, and uh, someone was asking as well about the DLC, um, because in all fairness, I have not finished the DLC yet for uh, the, the the Breath of the Wild. And I just want to say that like that will be that will be finished. Um, I think it's just I lost like some motivation to play it. Um, like the story stuff was like really good. Every time I got to the story part, it was like really awesome. Um, Mifa's one. I, I feel like I, I probably started with the best one, which is Mifa. Mifa did like Mifa's story was awesome, like really good, or like a cutscene, I should say. And then Rivali's was cool as well. Oh, it's oh, cool. Okay, it's a gold scatula. Oh, I forgot to do damage. This isn't like um in Majora's Mask, which actually one of my favorite things ever is like that you can like you can use like the fierce deity mask or whatever you know. That's funny, you know. The fierce deity mask was like the funniest thing ever because like I feel like a lot of people probably watched the final boss of a blind playthrough to, to see someone like trying to defeat it normally, and then here's me like being a a silly goose with his fierce deity mask and had like took the time to actually go around and collect all the masks. That's like the first time I think I've ever done that in a Zelda game, just collected almost everything. Like, even this looks better than it was on my old TV, and again, again, it is like, you know, I know it's like the pre-rendered backgrounds with, like, the door coming up in between it. Um, before we do anything, there is some place I want to visit. I just want to visit it once, I just want to hear the music, because it's really good. Like, this is fun, like, I think, I think the more games should have fixed camera angles in all fairness, because, like, it, do it does, like, it does, it does make for a more cinematic experience. No, I never came here originally. I don't think in my original playthrough before I got the three items, which we'll be getting them fairly soon, I think. But like, I remember just look like. Can you imagine coming here beforehand? And so much stuff happens here. So much stuff. If you're wondering, I'm also playing with the gamepad, which actually, you know, it it it's not the best. It's definitely not like it's not the best way to play this game. I think the classic controller would be better, but to be honest, I can't find a battery for my um, Wii Remote. Uh, thank God I finished Skyward Sword before I lost the battery for my Wii Remote. Um, there's lots of things you can do here. This is Malon, right? Or at least looks like her, at least. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. I bet. So, this, like, starts off a whole thing. We will be, like, going to him very, like, Oh my god, look at the character design in this girl. I, I never even know this is the first time. Look at this. That's really cool. I like that. I gotta remember that for, for later. So now comes, in all fairness, I think one of the coolest um, parts of the game, and the game, a part of the game that I had a lot of fun with. Um... Is the owl there again? I don't need owl tips. Like, he, he's like... Now I know why I wasn't a big fan of him. <laughs> hey, Linkle! This way! I forget his voice. The princess is inside the castle. Just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho 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 ho! On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Hoot hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I'm... I'm fine. Oh, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Woo -hoo. Yeah, you know. I think my, like, um... I think the first time... I, again, like, it, it must be the freaking TV, because I remember originally playing this game and thinking that it looked outdated as hell. And now I'm looking at it, and all I can see is like this really beautiful game. Yeah, of course the textures are weird because it's a game from like what 1998, and yeah, the character models look weird as hell. Um, Baby Link looks cool. I think the older Link looks. Um, I'm just gonna be honest. I, like I, maybe I'll change my mind, but I thought older Link looks pretty bad, like the nose and stuff. So we can drop down here, or we? I guess we can climb down. Hey, go through this door. One of my um, favorite things about movies, and I, well, there's a great fairy over there, I think we can go and get her at some point, I'm not sure when. But one of my favorite things about movies, uh, in general, um, or war movies, is defending the keep. When you have to defend the keep, it is like the most, is like the greatest thing ever. And when will we get a game 
where the sole purpose is just to defend, like, to as an army defend the castle, and like you can you can choose to like okay, I probably shouldn't give no 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 I'll give away the idea. I don't want to make this game. I want someone else to make it for me. Um, you like. You, you can choose options like a soldier comes to and go, they've broken through the western wall and you can choose like retreat to the keep, uh, barricade the western wall, try to hold your ground or stuff like that. You can choose all that like. When are we going to get that? You don't know? I'll wait, it's fine. I think we can get rupees here, right? It's like this weird rupee river. Navi still wants to talk. Navi, I'm okay, I'm okay like, you know? I'm okay for now, anyway. I could definitely use your, like, um, opinion later on. If that's okay. So now we have... This dude's asleep. And we need him to get up so we can talk to Princess Zelda. Hello. He's sleeping. Mumbo Mumbo. Welcome. Oh, uh, why aren't you so fun? Come and look around. You're right, Navi. We should go back and talk to Malon. If I remember correctly, Malon will be, like, right outside, so I think all we have to do is get caught, don't we? Well, the best course of action is to probably get caught. Let's see. Hey, you! Stop there! You kid over there! If you guys think the voices are annoying, please let me know, and I'll stop. That's all. That's all you need to do. So I think if we go here now, we're going to actually be able to talk to Malon. Hello, Malon. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Oh yeah. If you look for him, I'll give you this to you. I've been in incubating this egg very carefully. Tee hee. You got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to see. Okay. So I, if I, if I remember this correctly, I think that, yeah, so if he says, so to incubate it, so like, if I remember correctly, I think you have to wait a couple, uh, a, a bit of time, don't you? You have to wait some time to actually get, yeah, you have to wait a bit of time. Hatch! So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back. You singing, Malon? It's pretty dangerous out here, Malon. There's this, like, freaking, like, owl going about the place. He keeps giving children tips. But we all know what he's thinking. I didn't want to hit Malon. That actually made me... That broke all immersion. We're going to restart the game. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. Oh, I forgot you have to, like, climb up right in the middle of the vines. Ocarina of time. I shouldn't sing uh, at all. <laughs> It gives this whole place, like, completely different vibes than it did before. Like, like when she was singing, it gave it completely different vibes. You know, yo, Navi, it's okay, dude. It's okay. I never, like, know- again, another thing I'm noticing a little bit different, I like the interface, kind of, you know? Again, it's not my favorite interface, but, like, it, it works very well. How do you turn off the- that's not- is it this? This? Yeah, you can turn off the map. I don't think we're gonna use the map for this whole playthrough. I don't think it's needed. Unless you guys think it is. It, uh, try and think. No, I, I think I don't think I'll need the map. If I do, I'll just turn it on. It's really easy. It's really easy just to turn on. Do we have to? Is it literally just till morning? We have to wait till then it comes out again, like the the chicken hatches. I do love that we're collecting rupees though in the water. It makes sense though, it's kind of like when someone jo drops, uh, money in the- in the ground. Look, oh, okay, okay, so it actually didn't take that long. I thought it was gonna have to take a full, like, 24-hour period, but it's just the morning it hatched. So now we can use the chicken to wake him up. I think it might be, like, a rooster or something, though. Wake up, my friend! What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut-eye around here? Your- your daughter is looking for you, dude. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. Malon was looking for me. 
I'm gonna catch it from... I'm going to catch it from her now. Okay, like he's gonna get it. Like he's gonna get angry. She's gonna get angry at him. Okay. I didn't get that saying. I never heard that before. I messed up bad leaving Mallow behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. That's what happens when you have a weird relationship with your daughter. No, no, they're not like that. They're not like that at all. They seem very loving. Okay. Navi's gonna like sue, like, sue Link for like not ever like talking to her. It's like, like, Link, like, like, aren't you gonna talk to me? It's like, I've, 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 uh, it's okay. It's fine. This is another cool, uh, fun part of the game I remember, which was just, um, not the pushing of the blocks, the stealth mission in this game. And I was like, I made like the um, weird assumption that there was only stealth missions in uh, Breath of the Wild a while back. I was like, oh wow, stealth, like that's, that's new. And it's like, no, stealth has been a part of Zelda like since the beginning. I think there's even like missions in Twilight Princess. I think there's like even kind of stuff, if you think about it in uh, Link to the Past when you're trying to avoid people in the town, it's like, Lots and lots of different things, I should say. I'm all, oh, by the way, I'm also gonna do this with a lot of games, like a lot of Zelda games. It's not gonna end with Ocarina of Time. I do plan on doing, like, after, of course, I go back to other games, but I do plan on doing it for, um... Wind Waker, I, I Twilight Princess, uh, even Majora's Mask, like, a couple of years down the line, if I'm still doing this, you know? I'm not, uh, uh, killed or maimed. See, I was, again, like, one, like, one of the questions I had for this, and, like, it's one of the things I said to my, my friend after I played this, I was like, why doesn't he, why doesn't they see him through the prickly grass? Like, there's clearly holes in it, it's like, he's wearing green. Like, it's a little bit more difficult to see, and, like, he also has, like, a wooden shield and a wooden sword. I think that's a really, really cool by, like, a design perspective, I guess. The fact that, like, it probably is more difficult to see. Man, all this looks, like, way better than I remember. And the thing is, like, before, before people are like, Oh, Calvin, you totally had problems with the game. Stop bullcrapping. My problems with the game have not come yet. Like, my issues that I had originally with the game aren't here yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna prefer them now, or hate them now, or even, like, or just not care about them now. So like that that's all I'm saying. It's like it, it... Okay, we have to like totally get the rupees off this guy. How are we gonna do this though? I want I just want the red rupee. I think it's like waff. Is that like 20 rupees 20, isn't it? Red is 20. Oh, that looks so beautiful. He's like moving really slowly. I, I don't know why I'm staying quiet. That's enough. We don't need those extra rupees. We can get those easily. We can get a bunch of green rupees easily, but 20 rupees? That's hard to come by. It's actually kind of scary because of the angle. But I, again, like, as I said, like, it's like Resident Evil. I prefer these angles. It makes it for, like, a, a, I don't know. I think it's a better cinematic experience. Not that we didn't need cin cinematics in video. Oh, there's another red rupee! Okay, we're gonna go get that. And now we have max rupees. Okay, so as soon as he moves around here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say F it and go. And go back up here. <laughs> okay, that worked out well. We have we have max rupees, which is good. Uh, we have yeah, we're we're maxed out rupees, which means we can go buy stuff. I think I'm gonna buy the Hylian shield. And now there's two of these guys here. What is this statue? Because I don't believe we see the king. Uh, throughout this game. Do we? I don't think we do. 
Unless we do, and like you guys can correct me on that, because like I don't remember seeing the king. That's just my like. That's just maybe maybe I'm remembering it wrong, and like you do see the king very much so. Oh, I forgot this as well. Yeah, you have to do this as well. Like, this is just so cool. Like at this point, though, like um, if I was Link, I would be questioning everything. I would be kind of like, um, I'm probably not gonna like. And the thing is, Link's not Link's a better person than I am. But like, I would be kind of like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna like, not do this because oh, what's that statue as well like it seems like there's like these iconographies and like different religions and maybe even like different like um not not cult i don't want to say cult but maybe it's like these different like things that they worship that like are kind of alien to uh the rest of us i guess i'd love to know what they are maybe there's some videos but there's more than likely videos of them out there like and here we go we're about to, about to meet the first time i think no the second time in my life that i saw princess zelda this is like, okay, okay. Why? I don't get it. It has to be the TV that, like, my TV has settings that literally, it, like, it works best for what's on the TV, I guess, or something. Because, like, this looks way better. And maybe it's just a better TV. That's probably, that. okay, that's the explanation. It's, it's a better TV. <laughs> Her first, like, uh, notion of uh, Link is this. Okay, let's, um... Look around here for a bit. Are you s There is Mario! Mario and Peach! Oh my god! And Yoshi! And- Oh, that's really cool. That is really cool. I heard about this from someone. I forget who it was. But I thought, like, they took it out of the American version? Like, I think that's what- Like, I think for- Like, is, there's this weird thing with, like, America versus, um... Europe, I think, where, like... In America, you guys get, like, not bridge versions of stuff, like, you know, like, like, the way, like, they thought American, like, it's not so weird, they thought American kids wouldn't go see a movie called The Philosopher's Stone, which kind of makes sense, I guess, um, but many times they've been proven wrong, I think, uh, Last of Us is a good example with Ellie on the cover, they weren't gonna put Ellie on the cover because they thought it wouldn't sell, and then, of course, Ellie now changed the whole dynamic, I think, of video games, uh, even though, like, I'm not the biggest fan of The Last of Us, really, but, like, she did do a lot for, um, the females in video games. Hello, Zelda. What are we looking at? Well, we'll talk more about like the um, Europe versus whatever. Like, I think it's a pretty interesting conversation. Who, who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Then are you, are you from the forest? Then, then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yeah, I do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream. I just like, I, I don't know. It just sounds like, if, you, if you're doing a different voice, it sounds like she's evil. In the dream, dark clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure, holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story, and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Linkle. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Linkle. I'm going to tell you the secret of the Sacred Realm that has been passed down by the Royal Family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power 
to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what, that is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Hear the vibration of the controller? That's like really funny. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance to which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Would you look through the window at him? Yeah, sure, why not? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, leader of the Grudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. And we don't like those people, do we? That's really rude, Zelda. Zelda. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told you my father, I told my father about my dream, however he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Linkle. Now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. Thank you. I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such a terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will take the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. It is very helpful actually. You received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has a Princess Zelda's autograph. Said it says, yep. Yeah. So, uh, you gonna tell me about Mario in your window? And right down here is a very, very cool character. The coolest version of her is in Skyward Sword. We all know this. If you hear music in the background, I apologize. Someone like plays music really loud around here. I'm Impa of the Sheikahs. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a, a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? 
My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. So this is our first awkward time of playing the ocarina. It's really cool. It's like a really cool mechanic that you wouldn't think of, and like I think it's been borrowed many, many times from other video games. I don't think I like I, I think there would have been a Guitar Hero, but like I feel like they these guys did it first. <laughs> or at least that's like my my recollection of it anyway. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. <laughs> 